Okay guys, so we got this, this 07 I think Nissan Altima and they said that uh, it don't accelerate. So if you give it a guess, you hear it like bog down. I have a coil unplugged right now. You can put it in reverse. You can actually hear it like die. The car almost dies. Right there. And I want to show you guys what I found. So it had a whole bunch of throttle codes but everything was actually working according to this. Um, I think my scan tool came disconnected. Um, looks like it came disconnected. Let's go back. Let's see. All ECM signals. I might have to reconnect. I, I shut the key off. Let's see. Read data stream. Let's go back. Let's go back. Okay, either way, this ain't that important. So, we'll let that communicate. Let me show you guys what I found up here. So, I went in the cylinder. We got almost 12 PSI of back pressure. Let's set my time base up a little longer. This way I can get a nice snap throttle, maybe load it up, go in reverse. Let's see. See that? It just died. Let's look at this. Oh, look at that. Look how high that went. Look at that, 20 PSI. We have 20 PSI of back pressure. That cat is 100% clogged. 25, 25 PSI. Let me save this. So guys, I wanted to show you guys this. So these are the codes that I come out to. And I think that was from them changing the throttle body because I guess they couldn't use them on the customer did. And they also changed uh, I guess the customer changed some of the coils because there were some coils in the trunk. So, yeah, real quick. So, all I did was give it gas, saw that it died and how it sounded. I'm like, oh, we might have a clogged exhaust. Pop the coil out. And uh, that's all we needed to do. So, hope you guys like this one. Kind of quick. See you guys later. Oh, a big shout out to the AS Wave for these binary leads for extending my cable so I didn't have that my case on the plug. See you guys later. Okay, guys, here's our capture of our exhaust on the Nissan. So if we go back, let's go back, let's zoom in. Just want to show you guys this. So there's our, oops. Let's try this again. Okay, so here's our captures while the car was, I believe it, idle. And you'll see we have 10 PSI of back pressure right there. This is our, um, This is our compression, comes down to exhaust, intake, and then our expansion would be in here. Um, so let's move over more. You can see here's where I snapped the throttle. Let's, uh, let's zoom back out so we can get, see if we can get this, f oh, I went off the scale. That's okay. Let's see. Let's zoom in. Look how high that went right there. Just get these couple right here. Look how high this went. We hit 32 PSI. Thirty two PSI. Can you believe that? Of exhaust back pressure. And I'll show you guys a photo of what the cat looked like on here. Because that's our exhaust intake. So our intake pool should have been fine. Well, I was also snapping it, so it should be almost atmosphere. 
I think in the beginning it was pulling it into a vacuum. Yeah, you can see how much lower it was over here. See, it should be pulling it down like that. But when you snap the throttle or rev the, rev the car up, your intake vacuum drops. So, let's look at this. So this is what it would look like normally. You have your compression. Expansion, intake, exhaust. And this waveform here looks pretty good, um, except for this pressure. We shouldn't have that much pressure. We should be right here at zero. This is how much higher it is right here. So this line for exhaust right here should be about here. We shouldn't have any pressure. Then like I said, there's our index. So we should be, we should honestly probably be around like 10, I give 10 PSI I believe. We're, we're probably low because our exhaust is still restricted. Because if you can't push this, if you can't get the pressure out of the cylinder, it's going to cause the motor to breathe very inefficiently. And that would probably be why. I think our pressures are lower here. Wish I could get a capture of this. Wish I could get a capture of this while, uh, like after the fix, I mean. To fix. So let's go back to this other one so you guys can see it. I don't know how high this went because I didn't have my scaling high enough. Let's see, let's go over a little bit more. That's where it stalled. Let's see. So you can see here our intake was 0.5 psi. And our exhaust, what's our highest? Our highest is 32. 32 PSI. That's a lot. That's, that's almost, that's probably as much as is in the car tire. So, hope you guys like this one. See you later.